50 miles west of Fort Worth is a city that could draw a crowd, historically known for its water. Now, also something else. He was performing at four years old. You know, he wanted us to watch. And he did everything well. Shane did everything well. Shane McAnally, the singer and songwriter who made it big in country, but started little here in Mineral Wells. He always dressed up and did the performance and sang, and so this was junior high and high school years. His mother, Margaret, remembers a child who took every local gig, every chance to entertain, even while in daycare. We told him to pick up the toys, and he started to sing and take this job and shove it by Johnny Page. <laughs> He was a dancer and he would sing. Just an album that we had around here. That Serena Wigginton, Shane calls his second mom. She filled in to help a single mother at the time. He loved Barbara Mandrell, <laughs> he loved Dolly Parton. You know, he just, uh, he just loved music. The end is for number one. He got voted most talented for our senior class. So it was not only me that saw the talent. There's Shane in the- Rhett Warren is one of his best friends, part of a group dubbed the Seven Dwarves, who still meet to this day. That would be him as mascot, but you can't tell it, right? Because he Shane, back then, would balance local gigs and school. He was in drama, in music. It's not a game and it's not a toy, it's just a hoy. Shane used to have his little parties here. In fact, Margaret can party. still subconsciously hear the music blaring from the second floor of their old home. If he wasn't listening or performing, he was writing. Anything that you said, he was ready to jot it down to make a song. Shane's passion is in storytelling. He's written for Casey Musgraves, Kelly Clarkson, Reba McIntyre, Kenny Chesney. The list goes on. But a lot of his inspiration starts right here. One of the songwriters said, what's going on across the street at your neighbors? And I said, hmm, they're either selling Mary Kay, Mary Jane, or daddy's doing Mary. And so they wrote Mary Go Round. But there's no story without the storyteller himself. I want to make someone feel the way I feel right now. And no storyteller without Mineral Wells, which has some subtle nods in many of his songs. To me is the perfectly imperfect small Texas town. And, and I drive into that town and still feel 17. Shane's journey in music was like a typical old country road with all the bumps to Nashville, to LA, to his lowest of lows, and to the near point of quitting. He was literally in the closet. He did not make it till he was 40. He lived in someone else's house, and his room was a giant walk-in closet. The first turning point was letting go of the idea of getting rich. That, the switch to songwriting, and the decision to be his authentic self. And I don't think that most of us are um, that brave. How proud are you? How proud? I think it's on my face. <laughs> Lot to be proud of. And beyond Wednesday's five CMA nominations, topping that list, his husband and their two kids. There is more to music than hooks and phrase turns. There are stories told by storytellers, and those storytellers come from places like here. In Mineral Wells, I'm Jobin Pinecker.